Uh, God bless you. Uh, I want to continue sharing with you about uh, the identity of Jesus, who, who He is, uh, because it's, uh, it's very important that we understand who He is and believe in Him for who He is. Uh, in in uh, Luke chapter 1 is where we're introduced uh, to the idea that Jesus is called the Son of God. What does that mean that Jesus is the Son of God? How do we understand that? Well, the story actually is that uh, uh, an angel named Gabriel appeared to a young woman named Mary. Mary was a virgin. She's engaged to a man named Joseph, but not yet married. And the angel Gabriel promises Mary that she's going to have a child. The Holy Spirit is going to uh, touch her and she's going to have a child and she's going to name this child Jesus and he's going to be the promised Savior, the promised Messiah uh, of Israel and of the world. And so jumping into uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 34, Mary responds to the angel and says, how can this be since I do not know a man, meaning I'm a virgin, I, uh, this, um, how can this be? It's physically impossible. And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. And a couple of things to notice in this verse, and it says uh, the word therefore, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, overshadow you, and when that experience happens, it says you'll, you'll, you'll be with child and therefore the, the Holy Child that'll be born will be called the Son of God. So the word therefore really points out to us the idea that, that the reason this child is called the Son of God is because of this uh, supernatural experience of the Holy Spirit overshadowing Mary and then her conceiving this child. And uh, the other idea here is that he will be called the Son of God, meaning that uh, uh, Jesus wasn't always the Son of God. Um, we, I know that we, we explain the Trinity of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that's absolutely true. But this is really the moment when the second person of the Trinity became the Son of God. This is when He actually uh, became human, became a, a man like us, became a baby, and then was, was called at that moment the Son of God because this is the moment when Jesus was conceived. He now has a human mother, but his only father is God, God the Father in heaven. And so he is called the Son of God at this point. Uh, there's other verses here where Jesus is also called the Son of Man. And uh, that's an interesting thought too. The Son of Man indicates that he's a member of the human race. What's so significant about that? We're all the Son of Man. We're all members of the human race. Why, why is he special in that way? He's special because he's God who became a member of the human race, who actually became a son of man. And so uh, the reason that Jesus became the son of God was to reveal God, to die for us on the cross, pay for our sins, rise from the dead, and through doing that, reconnect us with God as our father. And, and he had to become a man in order to do that. So Jesus went about declaring himself to be the son of God. Uh, in fact, that idea was so challenging to the, to the people of his day and his nation at that time that that's essentially the reason that they crucified Jesus was because he claimed to be the son of God. But uh, what that actually means is that he was really saying that he was uh, actually God incarnate. Uh, one more reason that Jesus actually became the Son of God, what we call the Son of God, it says in Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 9, uh, excuse me, verse 12, as many as received him, Jesus, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. So Jesus became the first original only begotten Son of God. Uh, but the reason he did that, so it says here in John 1, 12, so that any, any of us, the rest of us who believe in him as our Savior, as our Lord, that instantly when we believe in Jesus as the Son of God, we are born again. The Spirit of God comes into us, gives us new life, and we instantly become children of God also. We become the sons and daughters of God. God made the original Son, Jesus, so that the rest of us could be born again and become sons and daughters in the family as well. If you'd like to become a son or a daughter of God, be born again. It says in this verse, believe in Jesus. Put your trust in Jesus. Put your faith in Jesus and call on his name. You could say it right now. Jesus, I believe you're the son of God. Come into my heart. I accept you as my savior. I believe in you and I trust in you from this day forward. And if you pray that prayer with me, you are instantly also a child of God. 